Hi everyone, I'm Alicia, an RPN cosmetic nurse injector. I work at Reveal Medi Spa administering their botulinum and dermafiller injections. I took my course three years ago. I do this full time. I've taken 14 ongoing education courses since the day I graduated. So Alex is in great hands today. on the chin dimpling, also known as the golf ball chin. Botulinum toxin is a muscle paralysis, so it's gonna temporary, temporarily soften that muscle. It takes about a week, a week and a half to fully take effect. So we're gonna inject it and you won't see anything today, but over time it's gonna soften that movement. So I'll get you to rumple the chin for me, Alex. So doing this motion repetitively, she's gonna start to get some dimpling that's lingering there and staying over time. We're also gonna treat the bunny lines. So these no lines on her nose, she is noticing that her makeup is starting to crease in them. So softening that and preventing that repetition is gonna prevent her from ever getting those lines there. So as you can see, there's a little tiny blub there. That's gonna be there for about 10 or 15 minutes until the muscle absorbs the product and then it'll be gone. So that note, that's how we know we've done the injection right. It's nice and superficial right on top of that muscle. So I'll get you to smile for me, Alex, and relax. We're going to go ahead and do the other side. And again, we have a nice little butt. And one more time, and right on the bridge of that nose for these little guys. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So that's going to treat that whole area. <laughs> so as you can see, no bruising, no bleeding. Um, very simple procedure. How do you decide how much product you're going to put in? So that is definitely part of the art. It takes a lot of education and practice to know how strong the muscle is and how much product is going to be needed to relax that muscle. It's definitely something I've learned over time. So when you're getting either botulinum toxin or filler injections, you wanna make sure that you're going to a medi spa. So you want somewhere that they have medical aesthetics going on, whether it's a medi spa, a dermatology clinic, a skin clinic, you don't wanna be going to somewhere that's a nail salon or a hair salon. Um, just because of sterility, you wanna make sure that you're in a clean environment, There's lots of particles flowing through the air. So somewhere that's very clean and has registered staff working there. And what about um, places with estheticians and that kind of thing? Estheticians are totally fine, but you want to make sure that you are getting your injections by someone that's registered. So whether it's a nurse practitioner, a registered nurse, a registered practical nurse, a doctor, a dermatologist, that way they have the proper level of education to administer these injections. There are some safety risks that do come with them. When you're getting it by a registered staff, you know that you're getting Health Canada approved products. So these injections are a little bit deeper, so you may not see the same blood. So prickany. And again, perfect. And one last prick. Good. 